What is up? I am N.Divine83. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Razorback Wire. What is Razorback Wire? Razorback Wire is when you get your ribbon to stand up on its point one side. So most ribbons are point one by something else. Point one by point two, point one by point three, so on, so on. You want it to stand up on that point one side. That is what Razorback Wire is. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. I'm going to just break it down to the easiest way to do it, all the steps I take, and then I'm going to show you a couple tips that I use to be successful in making this wire. You could use this wire for so many different builds. It all starts with a single core and a piece of ribbon standing up on its point one, much like a Clapton. Um, almost like a, um, if you, a juggernaut coil. A juggernaut coil where, you know, you put your ribbon, you clapped in with ribbon, kind of the same thing, only we're gonna stand that ribbon up, all right? Instead of that ribbon laying down, we're gonna stand it up, all right? You use this for so many things. I just did a Razorback Enigma a little bit ago. You can make Mohawks. This is one of them builds where it doesn't vape good, like, at all, but it's a jaw-dropping drop, build. It looks awesome. It's just, for build-offs, you see these a lot because it, it's quite quite possibly the baddest-looking wire out there. It just looks really cool when it's finished, really sharp look, really, um, man, just a really metal look. It just it looks really cool, so this is a good one to know. Um, I have another video of the Razorback Wire. I believe it was a live recording, but it's one of my most popular videos on the channel. So I'll try to put a link to that, like in the corner or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into it, show you the tools you need, show you how to be successful. Tips before we get to this, you got to be careful with messing with ribbon. Ribbon is 0.1, which means it's pretty sharp. 0.1 millimeter is pretty much as sharp as a utility knife. So it's very sharp. If it's going through your fingers at a fast rate, it can cut you. I've seen people get stitches off of using ribbon um, with a fast drill. So really be careful with this. I, I never say that in videos. It's because this one, I really have to stress that. Be careful because it can cut you. So um, let's get on with the video. the tools I use for this build aside from my from my swivel setup of course and is my drill also of course I have clamps to hold my drill and swivels down I have needle noses and close cutters as always uh, I'm going to be using a plastic bag for this build to hold my ribbon as I do the razor back I have this clamp to actually make the razor back. This is an Irwin clamp. This is actually a smaller size, but it's actually a spring clamp, and it's made by Irwin. You could find this at a Home Depot, Lowe's, probably get it on the internet. It's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong clamp. Big old spring clamp in there. These things are awesome to have around the build station. I have a bunch of different sizes. I'm going to be using my glasses 10 times magnification and I also have a bobby pin to go in the drill to hold my wires straight and the two wires I'm going to be using in this video are 26 gauge I'm going to use stainless steel uh, I like stainless steel for the cores in this stainless steel seems to be easier to decor off of nichrome gets dug into a little bit too much and canthal likes to break 
and stainless steel point to ribbon once again stainless steel is my favorite ribbon to use with this not only does it work the best in my opinion it's the cheapest you might burn through this and also it colors up really nice with this build point two is my favorite you can also use point three you could raise her back with point four if you would like i really recommend point two i only like doing these in point two all right we're going to start with our 26 gauge wire i have stainless steel here 26 gauge stainless steel now with Every other build, before you start, I suggest straightening out your wire or just making sure you have straight wire. I usually do this by just giving it a little stretch and that makes it straight. On this razor back, I don't do that right away. Um, there's a reason for it. It's a tip that comes in handy later. What ends up happening when this razor back lays on the 26 gauge it actually makes little cuts little indents like i was just telling you how this wire sharp it makes little cuts which makes it almost impossible to decor this is a close-up of the 26 gauge after the decor so you see them lines in it it almost looks like it's clapped in ribbon but no this is naked 26 gauge after that decor after that ribbon has dug into it from all the pressure and just how sharp it is that makes it very hard to get that decor off. So when you stretch this 26, it makes it thinner. So it's better to stretch that after you get the razor back clapped and that's gonna make the wire smaller and easier to decor. So what I end up doing is I just take the 26 gauge off of the spool and I literally just get as much as I need. So I'm going to do enough for like two coils, which is going to be about, you know, 16 inches or so. And I just cut that off and I don't stretch it. I don't twist it straight or nothing. I just have it just like that. Now you still want to make sure there's no kinks or anything in there because that's going to mess up your Clapton in the long run when we get to putting this ribbon on top of this 26. But as long as there's no kinks, this will this will be fine. All right, so I have that unstretched piece of 26 gauge in my drill, and I have it on my swivel. They're both clamped to my table. It's nice and tight. It's going to stay here while I work. Let me show you up close what these look like. All right, this is what it looks like in the drill. All I got here is a bobby pin that is inside the drill, and then I just got my wire twisted around there just like normal. I like the bobby pin because it holds it center with the drill instead of being bent in there sometimes it goes off center so I like the bobby pin for lots of Clapton builds just so it holds it center with that swivel and of course my drill is level with the swivel right now there's my swivel and my wires just hooked around the swivel it's twisted around it nice and center it's ready to go nice and tight all right so I do like to have my bag and my clamp ready to go but first I'm going to take that point two stainless steel point two ribbon stainless steel is my favorite to use for these and I'm just going to simply get it into the drill and start the Clapton just regular just a regular flat Clapton with the ribbon wire So now that I have this Clapton started, just flat for now, I'm going to get this ribbon into this plastic bag. And this is just going to feed me the wire, just like I would do a parallel Clapton. I'm going to drop this bag right down in between my legs, and I kind of just hold it steady, upright between my feet. All right, now, this is where I take my clamp, and I'm going to clamp the wire. So the wire is coming up like this. I'm going to clamp on the wire just, just flat. Just flat, just like this. And now it would still clap than if I left it like this. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to twist it around like that. So now the point one side is intersecting with the 26 gauge. All right, at this part, this is where I like to use glasses, some kind of magnification. I use 10 times, that's all I really need, and it's just one loop, it's just one over, over one eye. You don't need this for this build, it just shows me slight variations that I may be making with my hand, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this clamp steady, and once this gets started, the last wrap is going to hold up the next wrap, okay? So you don't want it on an angle, you want this straight up and down. If it's on an angle, that's a different type of build. All right, so you want it straight up and down, and this clamp is going to be very tight to this wire. It's gonna be dead on that wire, and the ribbon is going to wrap very tightly on this 26. That's where it starts digging into. So we're just gonna hold this as steady as we can, get this ribbon standing up right on this 26 gauge. this wire obviously the better but the more you get of this wire the harder it is to decor like I said that ribbons digging into that 26 gauge and that's why we didn't stretch the 26 gauge so now what I like to do is I'm just gonna get this clamp off here and it's not like a regular decor like for an alien if you hold this and reverse it it will start messing up over here it will get very wrinkled you could do a couple rotations like Looks like I went around about three times, and that'll do it. That'll get it a little looser, all right? I do feel that it's moving, and you'll almost feel them ridges in the wire, okay? All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna stretch this 26, just the 26. So what I'm going to do, you can either do this just by pulling the 26 like you would stretch it, or you can do it by twisting. I quite like the twisting thing. So I'm going to hold the 26 and only the 26, so the clamp that ends here, my needle nose is I'm gonna put after that. I'm gonna clamp that, I'm gonna pull tight away from the drill, and I'm gonna twist the drill in reverse. Actually first, I'm gonna cut my ribbon off of the spool. I can 
feel of a 26 stretch. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it right here off of the drill. All right, so remember where I clapped and it flat? That's where I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna leave some of that flat ribbon clapped and on the wire, and I'm gonna cut it right there. All right, so now I leave it on the swivel because it's something that's gonna hold my 26. And what I do is I put my fingers right at the end of this ribbon here and my fingers down here. And I'm gonna try to pull it all off in one piece. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling with both hands. Now sometimes this doesn't work perfectly and what you have to do is just work a little off at a time. Now you don't wanna pull too much. You pull just a little bit and then you just keep pulling, pulling, pulling go a little at a time and by the time let's say if this is an eight inch decor which I think it is by the time I get four inches off it should just slide off so I think this is an eight inch clap and so let's see how this goes and it is kind of tedious you don't want to mess this up though this is not an easy wire to make it'd be a shame to lose it now after you did all that work to get a nice razor back. So just very little at a time. Yeah, I got about three inches of that eight inches off and it slid right on. There it is. You just gotta be patient. This is what this decor ends up looking like. This is the beginning of my wire that was in the drill. That's the flat Clapton. And then it turned right over to the point one side and that's what we get. Razorback decor. Little spaces like this won't be a big deal for most builds. Probably gonna use this for an alien or a Mohawk alien or something like that. Alright, now there are so many different things you could do with a Razorback. You could even keep it on the core and do some cool stuff like that. Maybe groove uh, or force fuse a another wire parallel with it. You could do so many different things with this. Mostly it looks really cool with Mohawks, using it for aliens, and the same three to one ratio works. Or you could use it for enigmas like I did in a couple videos back. Check out Coil Class Razorbacks where I'm going to use this wire in a fairly simple build that looks really freaking cool. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helps. I enjoy making them. Let me know which one you would like to see next. And I'll try to get it up and out there. Thank you. And Dr. Vine on Instagram and Patreon to support the channel. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm out of here.